Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, your English instructor, Muhammad Hasnan, once again with all of you people. First of all, to all of you that are out there, I have got a lot of feedback from you people on my latest series. And a lot of you people have been asking for a new tip video. So here I am with another tip video. And today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks to learn English fluently, easily. And it won't take that much time. It's an infotainment. And a lot of you people have been, have made me laugh about what you people just said. Lately, I made a video about how to talk in English instantly within five minutes. And lots of you people had been become sad and they said that you have cheated on uh, with us and you didn't tell us how to do that. So actually that video was just sarcastic. It was meant not to be taken seriously. It was just a sarcastic video for all the lack and lacks of people that have been asking me continuously a easy way and as you remember i said in the video first of all that i'm going to show you this and but after i said that i said that don't take any of this seriously and i'm sorry but there's no way that this is possible so let's get into our video so today i'm going to show you some tips that are infotainable or that's not a word but i just said it uh, that are a form of infotainment so you guys can enjoy those tips plus you guys can learn a lot of things and be able to speak English so let's get into the topic number one practice with natives now there are multiple different ways to practice na with natives for example you might have people at your school like your teachers etc you guys can talk with them in your class for example you can have a conversation about uh, your uh, exams etc and you try to talk you might have friends that can speak english quite well uh, or might have good english accent so you can learn from them other than that you can have some local other uh, like local people who can speak english really well and if not none of these in my case, I also didn't have any of these people. So what is there? There is a language exchange modules or programs online. You guys can go visit those programs. There are multiple different types in which you can have uh, conversations with natives. So you guys can go there, uh, use that and easily be able to have conversation with natives. And the thing with conversation with natives is that practicing with natives, that it like when you do this daily it will make you be easier to talk you will have a better pronunciation because of them you will have a more fluency because of them and you will have pretty much everything better after uh, having quite a lot of practice with natives now number second watch english movies and tv shows now there are multiple different shows and multiple different tv shows etc that so Personally, I remember last time when I said this, you guys were being sarcastic and said that now you're going to teach us to watch movies and you're against it and now you're telling us to watch movies. So, okay, I won't say it. Cut the movies. Instead, go watch some Islamic English videos or motivational Islamic videos or go ahead and watch some Islamic English pre uh, priesters that are priesting in other countries in English language. You can watch them. One of my favorite is um, Mufti Mink. I listened to him quite a lot because I was getting quite inspired by his way of speaking and etc. But he was a good person and I like his bayan etc. And you guys can also listen to that, his preachings etc. So listen to English podcasts and audiobooks. Now there are quite a lot of books. You might be having a problem with reading because lots of people I've seen aren't fast readers. Because if I tell you my personal, if I try to fast read anything, I am good at fast reading, really good at it. But the thing is that when I read it, fast read it, so I have to read it two, three times to understand what is inside. I do understand, but do not get like that point that the writer wants to share. So I have to like pay that con focus to it so that I can understand that what it's saying. But with audiobooks, this is not the case with them. With them, you can just simply turn it on, listen, listen to it with your headphones, I guess you may have, or with your, um, multiple different other things airpods etc you can listen audiobooks with that you can listen in general you can go ahead and use multiple different softwares online there are multiple different apps softwares that can help you with audiobooks if you want to download the youtube versions you can go ahead and download those you have multiple options you guys can choose any you want and finally uh, yes podcasts so podcasts are also a great way islamic podcasts are nowadays really popular among youngsters because they are quite inspiring to listen to people that were once like us but then turned back from the bad side to the good side and turned more islamic it's good to see them like this way and it gives us inspiration to turn more religious and more sacred after looking to them read 
English books and articles. Now, when it comes to people like me, I do not have a problem with reading English articles or books. So if you give me any book, I can read it. If you give me any article, I can read it. But there's a thing. Some things are boring. To be honest, some people actually don't know how to read. But sometimes they're just too much bored out of reading that they say, I don't know how to read this. They just pretend that they don't know. They excuse to their own self that I don't know. They're too bored from that thing. For example, in newspaper daily, the same news again and again coming that uh, this person fought this person and this person accused this person of this thing. Uh, this politician all the time about politicians fighting each other. There is no new news that is happening. They do not talk about the good things that are happening or the improvements or the cool things that are happening in Pakistan, but the bad things that are happening in Pakistan. And nobody likes to listen, but they get bored. So there is a bit problem. And books, sometimes we get bored, but it's, uh, we can say, compulsory to read books for some people. So that's why they read it. But if you have a true thirst of books, so you will really enjoy reading novels and general books, good ones, not the bad ones that are kind of like boring course books, for example, those type of books. But extra books are quite enjoyable. You might like them, uh, literature books, uh, general books. You might like them, so you guys can also read them. This is all for our today's video. Thank you so much for being with me. And until my next part of this video, thank you so much for being with me and Allah Hafiz.